Hey y'all, welcome back to some more Final Fantasy XIV, motherfucker! So, today we are finishing this last uh, level 20, I believe, um, Thaumaturge quest. And then we're going to do the third dungeon of this, like, triple dungeon situation. And I think that's gonna be it for this week. Um, I will take a break from this. <laughs> I'm realizing it's gonna be a lot of videos to get to all the way up to 50. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go all the way up to the final level 25 MSQ. And then I'm gonna do the level 25 Thaumaturge quest. And then we're gonna play something else and beat that. And then come back to this and finish this off. Just to mix it up for y'all. I wanna play Guild Wars 2. I wanna play The Secret World Online or Secret World Legends. I wanna play Star Wars the Elder Public and the Elder Scrolls Online. I want to play all those now that I've been playing this. So I will finish this off after I play the next game. Let me know in the comments what y'all want me to play next, but or what kind of genre or whatever. But otherwise, I'm gonna just pick one. So in the last episode, we did Tam Terra Deepcroft and we did the level 15 Thaumaturge quest. In this episode, we will do the level 20 Thaumaturge quest and I assuming copper belt mines considering they're sending me to Ulda, which i'm already at so we'll do that and yeah see how far we get also without further ado let the quest continue also look look my fucking earrings they're just getting longer and longer bitch what is this okay coco bookie bitch the threat of perplexity Fieldmaster Kokobuki <laughs> coco bookie wishes you to learn coco bookie got his fucking ass possessed y'all Guildmaster Kokobuki wishes you to learn from the next chapter of Thaumaturgy the Yawning Abyss. Joey, you're safe. I feared you had fallen victim to the Mage Slayer. Have you not heard of the recent spate of gruesome killings taking place within Ulda? Each case involves at least one dead Thaumaturge, and every corpse is found bloodied, battered, and utterly drained of etheric energy. Whoa. Ill tidings aside, I'm glad to see you alive and glowing with vitality. It is time for you to delve into the final chapter of the Yawning Abyss. Coco Boha, our second youngest sibling, will read to you from the threat of perplexity. All right, the final one, really? Hmm. Coco Boha. <laughs> Joey, greetings. I read that backwards. <laughs> Are you once more prepared to peruse the pages of power and peril? Then let's just begin. Okay. The threat of perplexity. Ah, how magnificent the daunting power we wield. Flames pursue, ice transfixes, and lightning dances into the ranks of our enemies. <sighs> but what terror descends when from all sides those ranks close? Flames are smothered. Ice crushed, and lightning grounded. Know you this threat, and wear you the multitudinous foe? What foe that be? Is the point of this passage readily apparent? It would be most problematic, for example, should you meet this malefic mage slayer, and he or she proves to be multiple murderers. What a thaumaturge needs is a thick-set thrall. Uh, courageous companion to accompany him in cases where collective cronies aren't co expected. Now, as for your trial... Coco Boha! Pray allow me to suggest a practical course for Joey's training. Oh no, look at his eyes, they're red. The town is buzzing with the news of yet more slaughtered thaumaturges. The mutilated bodies found fouling the waters of Nafika's wells. I would have Joey aid me in hunting down the culprit while the trail is yet fresh. <laughs> Yowie, <laughs> I pronounce it that way. Yowie may have tolerated your interruption of his trial the last time, Boosie, but you are hardly the hardy henchman he needs to clear such a hazardous hurdle. Hurdle. Your concerns are understandable, brother. If you would allay your fears. I can introduce Joey to a valiant warrior who recently entered my employ. You have secured the services of a stalwart swordsman? Then that would indeed be in line with learning the lesson of the day, perhaps. Come now, Joey. Let us be about our business before Kokoboha has change of heart. I'll be waiting for you in Nafka's Wells. Crazy. 
Hmm. Was that Coco Boosty? No. No, bitch. No. I was some possessed creature. Alright, now if it goes Wells, where's that? Huh? Where'd that be? Too damn far. Okay. Teleporting to Horizon and then running south down all the way to Nafka's motherfucking wells. And we are here at that there Nafka's wells. Multiple wells. If you don't take your sprinting ass, bitch. Uh, here's my thick set friend. Oh, and Kokobusi. Oh boy. Ah, Joey, so good of you to come. My Rogadin, Rugadin friend here is the warrior I mentioned back at the ossuary. Now, there's no time to waste. Why don't you head into the stream and examine the bodies of the slain mages? I would go with you, but with my delicate stomach, I fear I might contaminate the scene. Remember, you're looking for anything that might help us track down this killer. Okay, we're doing some fucking... Investigation shit, are we? All right, girl. All right, girl. <gasps> A corpse? No, bloody no. Oh, there's two corpses. Oh, yo, yo, yo. Oh, yo, yo, yo. Three. They're all here. Interesting. Okay. I guess I picked it up, put it in my pocket. All right. Okay, deliver <laughs> the evidence. Haul back the three fucking bodies to Pogo Boosty so we can eat them, I'm assuming. Fucking psychopath. Pogo Boosty, I don't want to talk to you, but. <sighs> Did you uncover anything incriminating? Well, yeah, a bloody scepter, a shredded tome, and a fucking bloody bracelet, bitch. What do you have to say for yourself? Hee <laughs> hee! The blood is yet stick to the touch. The slaughter must have been recent indeed. The villain may yet lurk nearby. Return to the creek where the bodies lay and linger for a time. I dare say your aura, saturated as it is with enticing etheric energy, will lure the mage slayer into the open. Have courage, Joey. Our burly companion stands ready to leap to your side. Or aid. Okay. You're gonna kill me in my sleep or something. I don't trust you, as cute as you are. Mm -mm. You're the Mage Slayer. Like, it's official. Isn't that gonna be a plot twist? It's like, oh, it wasn't Kokobusi. There's another fucking threat around here. Wouldn't that be fucking wonderful. There it is. Oh, it's a whole battle. All right. Oh, 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 I was trying to fix my hair, bitch. Now let's try what skate. Let's try uh, some skate. Boop, skate. I'm gonna do it again. Boop, skate. Cool. This bastard's got some nasty spells. Stay well back, you hear? I do hear. And I see. Oh, bloody hells. Uh, sleep. Sleep, sleep, sleep. Put the big bugger to sleep. I can't take three at once. Oh, uh, yeah, okay, I guess so. I mean, we could have just killed him. All right. Just fire, fire, fire. Fire fixes everything. Okay. Kill, kill, kill. Die, die, die. Oh, we gotta use the transposing. Oh, you know what? Now that I have scathe, I probably can finish off enemies without <laughs> having to cast a whole last spell. I can be that bitch they want me to be in dungeons. Finish fools off. Uh, Swordsman, you okay there? Okay. He's got heals. He's good. 
Um, yay, we did it! We did it! That takes care of that! I'm off to collect me coin. Back to Kokobusi. Coco Bussy. Okay, creep. What did you do with him? Did you pay him and let him be on his way? It seems your partnership with our hired blade went splendidly. It is unfortunate, though, that one of the imps was able to flutter away. Oh? Did you not notice? You wouldn't wish to report to Coco Boha with your trial, but half finished, would you? Of course not. I'm afraid, uh, however, that the Rugadid has already collected his recompense and departed for the nearest alehouse. What to do, what to do? Hmm. Surely a thaumaturge of your caliber can handle a single imp, yes? If I'm not mistaken, it fled into the that little cave over there. Hurry now before it slips away into some hidden nook or cranny. Yeah. You talking weird, dude. You ain't talking the same way you used to be talking. I don't like it. So, this is when you do me in, huh? This is when you're, you're gonna make your move, Coco. Alright, let's get ready for this ambush. Oh, here we go, y'all. Hmm, something's fishy. <gasps> I told y'all. Oh! Oh! <gasps> Coco Buki. That is not Coco Busi. Well, it is Coco Busi, but a Coco Busi possessed by the void set that escaped for Momor's Earth. It was feeding on the etheric energy of all those slain thaumaturges. Really now, bitch. <laughs> and you, my dear mana-rich Joey, were to be next. I have wanted to absorb your delicious power since the moment we met. Hmm. A pity. This has been such an amusing charade. However, did you see through it? Because you're literally gro glowing purple, bitch. Hmm. <laughs> I am Coco Boosie's brother. How could I not? It is time I destroyed you, Mormo, and put a stop to these sinister killings. As the eldest, I must take responsibility for my family's misadventures. Hee <laughs> hee. A coward like you destroy me? Your opening strike should have pierced my heart, but instead, you aimed for the knife. Fear stays your hand. Fear that slaying me will also slay your sibling. Hmm. Hee <laughs> hee! Poor spineless thaumaturge! I shall, however, leave you with a pleasant thought. It was Kokobusi's fervent wish to amass this power. He craved the arcane strength to stand beside his brothers as an equal. But a shame that he must now stand against you. Hee hee hee. I was a little late on that one. It pains me to admit, but there is some truth to that creature's words. I surrendered the perfect opportunity to end this. I have betrayed my own teachings. Return to the Ossuary and report the completion of your trial, Joey. I will remain here for a time and gather my thoughts. Mm-hmm. You realize I would have died if you didn't blow up that dagger. Literally saying that it was worth it to stop this madness. And I don't like that one a bit. Now do I? No, I don't. I bloody don't. Back to Ulda to turn this fuck request in. Shit is getting wild up in here, bitch. Hey my god, the things I've witnessed while I was gone. Coco bros. You have no clue. 
Your brother Kokobuki literally said he should have killed Kokobusi. Kokoboha. Ah, Joey. Kokobuki has advised me of your adventures. It seems the mage slayer slid it away, but your stint with the swordsman was nonetheless successful. Consider this chapter complete. Your time with our tome of teachings is at an end. <coughs> Well, to be absolutely accurate, there is an addendum with additional advice, but Kokobuki considers it extracurricular. Even I dare not delve into those diabolical depths. I do not yet deign to die, you understand. Hello? Pressing the button. Fuck off. <laughs> Just changed my fucking camera. What did he mean by that, Kokobuki? I have yet to inform my brothers of Kokobuki's misfortune. I have yet to reconcile the maelstrom within my own mind. The most fundamental lessons of thaumaturgy demanded I slay the creature where it stood. It was the most opportune moment to strike. Minimal risk and victory all but assured. But many more will suffer from my hesitation and my cowardice. It will likely be some time, however, before more more resurfaces to kill again. Now that we have uncovered the deception, the Void Scent will seek a new hunting ground where Kokobusi's face is unknown. And though the respite may be brief, I must devote this time to considering my next course of action. Pray, leave me to my musings, Joey. Alright, bitch. What, what, why are you giving me garbage? Oh, a new staff. A uh, staff, a uh, staff. Whoa, where did this come from? Holy crap, bitch. I had this the whole time, though. I'd have been killing shit all slow as hell. Dang. Even the thing he just gave me was garbage. Oh, no, it's not. It's better. <laughs> okay, well. That's sad, because the other one looked cooler. Such is the life. Okay, that's level 25 now. Cool. No, such is... All right. Cool. All right, let's go finish that uh, third dungeon, y'all. That black mage quest is getting spicy. I'm excited for that shit. Um... Oh, yeah. Adventure skill. Oh, God. Let's see... All right, y'all, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it with Modi. I, I hate, she's my girl, but like, I'm just, I half-ass it when I read her shit. I don't know what it is. Where are these fireworks? I hear them, but I do not see them. What's going on? Oh, why? I'm back, Modi, and I have things to speak with you about. Or you rather, you have things to speak to me about. Let's get in this guy's lap. No, let's not do that. All right. Welcome to the quicksand, friend. I'm a tad busy right now, if you wouldn't mind showing yourself to... Oh, it's you, Joey. And there I was, spouting the same tired line. Mune said word that you'd be reporting for duty. She also made a point of calling you the adventurer of the moment. That ain't no small praise coming from her. But you didn't come all the way here to listen to my prattle. Doubtless you're eager to get started, so... Let's talk business, shall we? Yes. Let's do that. Into a copper hell. That sounds wonderful. <laughs> Momodi is waiting to brief you on your task. Great. The petitioner ought to be arriving any moment. Now. <laughs> Gods almighty, another second under that sun and I would have been sent afire. <laughs> a taker of ale if you would be so kind. Papa Sean! Excellent timing, Papa Sean. It just so happens the adventurer who will be handed in Lynn, your petition is here. Oh! Why, if it isn't my good friend Joey. It does my spirit well to know that you are the one who will be helping us. Mayhap you'd like to apprise Joey of his mission? <laughs> Yes, of course. The petition in question was submitted by an acquaintance of mine at Amajanad Sun's Mineral Concern. It relates to an unfortunate development at Copper Bell Mines. To be plain, giants have seized control of the place. Oh, cute giants. These giants are all of the clan known as the Hecaton Shares. Fearsome creatures who are sealed within the deepest depths of the mines during the bygone Thorn Dynasty. Alas, it seems they have managed to break through the layer of rock which served to imprison them, and now prowl the tunnels where the miners ply their trade. 
The creatures are justifiably angry about their treatment at the hands of our ancestors, and their presence has forced the suspension of all mining activities on the site. It's no wonder they're angry. Didn't the Thorn Dynasty come to an end over 300 years ago? Know your history well, my lady. The people of that age used the Hecaton shares to work their minds. By way of enchanted helms, they were able to bind the ferocious creatures to their will. But as is oft the way in such tales, these enchantments eventually failed, and the slaves rose up against their masters. In a desperate bid to contain the unbridled fury of the Hecaton shares, our ancestors induced the collapse of the mine's lowermost levels. So it was that the great giant revolt was ended, <laughs> buried beneath a hundred thousand tonnes of rock. Well now, that got me thinking. I seem to recall there being an article about Copper Bell and the Mithril Eye a fortnight or so ago. <laughs> it said the mines were being reopened so as to meet the rising demand for building materials. Like as not, our boys dug a bit too deep and Read the giants. Gods, to think the poor creatures are still alive and kicking after three centuries. That's a long time to nurse a grudge. They must be seething. Indeed! And that makes them a danger to us all! There will be no mining at Copperbell so long as they remain! For the sake of both peace and prosperity, they must be subdued. This is the task which we would have you undertake. I'll not deny that the mission will be rife with danger, but our need is great. And so I beg you, put an end to this sorry business. Okay. God bless you. I feared you might have reservations, but I assure you it is for the best. Hmm. In case you don't know, Copperbell Mines are in western Thanalan. Do take care, you hear? Ah, and one last thing before you depart. An um, employee, wow, well, of Amagino and Sons is presently at the quicksand. The fellow's name is Painted Mesa, and he knows Copperbell Mines well. It may behoove you to seek his counsel. Okay! <laughs> okay! <laughs> Where? Wait, the quicksand? I'm in the quick. Oh, hello, creep. You listening to the whole damn thing we just talked about? Looking for Painted Mesa? You found him. So, you're the adventurer who's volunteered to deal with the mess down in Copper Bell, are you? You got guts, mate. I just hope you've got skills to go with them, because things ain't pretty down there. The Hecaton shares have left the place in a right state, and nearly a week after mining was resumed. <laughs> I don't know if you know this, but Copper Bell was... Old when the second Ul dynasty was still young, and it was abandoned centuries ago. <laughs> this voice. If it hadn't been for the shortage of materials needed for their building effort, the concert would never have thought to reopen it. I'm I'm slowly slipping back into pop shot. <laughs> we knew full well about the giants beforehand, but the project went ahead anyway. I mean. Nothing could possibly survive being buried under a mountain's worth of rocks for three centuries, right? Wrong, bitch. Our miners dug up more than they bargained for. One swing of the pickaxe too many, and they found themselves in that company of giants. Unless we can subdue them, the nation's glorious recovery will grind to a halt for want of aught to build with. The stone torches or keep and watch over the entrance in case the giants fancy some sunlight and fresh air. One of them will be able to show you the way in. The hope of the nations resting on you, friend. Best of luck. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? Copper Bell, my, what? Copper Bell, yes, Copper Bell. Yes, Copper Bell. Horizon, Horizon, Copper Bell. Mines, let's go, bitch. So Torch, wow, so deep in thought. <laughs> In an incident inside Copper Bell Mines, we are here to ensure that its effects are contained. But for your own safety, I suggest you stay well away from here. What? You are the adventurer who's volunteered to quell the Hackathon shares. 
I didn't think that Papa Sean would be able to find someone so quickly, if at all. The Giants are content to wreak havoc inside the mines for now, but it's only a matter of time before they think to come outside. The sooner you see to them, the better. Make ready as best you can and enter at will. Okay. I will do that, sir. Good day to you. I like your armor. Your hat looks crazy, but you know. Several mines. Abandoned, once purged of ore. Copper Bell Mines lay untouched for nigh on three centuries until Imagino and Sons Mineral Concern reclaimed the shafts. The guild site set on expanding the mines downward in an attempt to tap yet undiscovered veins of valuable metal. Unfortunately, bitch, unfortunately it was not riches the powder kegs uncovered, but sheer terror. For when the smoke cleared, out poured an army of raging giants from the darkest recesses of the mines. The Hecaton shares, thralls of the Lost Thorn dynasty, were at last free from their lightless prison. 300 years of hate fueling their madness. Okay, so we're gonna fight a bunch of Hecaton shares. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. I should probably look it up because I said it about 50 million times. Um. I can't, though, because I'm using my phone to <laughs> record. Hello, GPS! Say yes! Say yes to the dress, bitch! Come on, mate! You're making us all wait. Ugh, not this dead by daylight ass bullshit again where the last person is making us wait forever. And then it's this thing where it's like, they might not click yes, and then I'm back in the queue. Fuck me. Bitches. Alright, yeah, we're just gonna, while we're waiting for this queue, we're gonna run around trying to finish as much of the hunts as we can just to get some more experience while we wait, bitch. Um, okay, so. Kikirn Shell Sweeper. Such a Thanaland Land Black Brush. Kikirn. You gotta be Kikirn. 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 Oh my god, yes! Oh, please don't fuck with me. Thank you, people! Shit! Praise be the stars! Okay. Here's Copper Bell Mine, y'all. Uh. Copper Bell Mines. This is a long entrance. My friends are probably long gone. Oh, wait, they can't go anywhere. <laughs> oh, I'm not the only one watching it. Okay, good. Die, you bloody goblins! I like the song. I wonder if there's a way to like turn off the battle music in the dungeon and just listen to. What did I just. What level was that? 24? Sweet! Wee! I'll grab the lever. Oh wait, I can't grab the lever without these clowns. Okay, I grab the lever. I'll get it, guys! <sighs> You're all so fucking big. Wee! Oh shit. Wee! Oh shit. Wee! Oh. <laughs> I'm like literally a child. See, I don't like this song. I don't like this song. And it's gonna play the whole damn time. We're gonna be in battle the whole time. I'd rather just hear that fucking, you know, they should just continue that dungeon song intro for the whole damn dungeon. And then give us, like, boss music or whatever. Oh, uh, whatever. Okay. No. It's not the way. Uh, this bitch is gonna have us go every motherfucking where. Oh, I'm getting the hang of my thaumaturge, y'all. I can't wait to turn to a fucking black mage level 30. This whole thaumaturge shit is... <laughs> I try to remember to say fucking thaumaturge every time they all. I don't identify as a thaumaturge. I identify as a black mage, bitch. Can we go, bitch? All right, I'm leading. Fuck all y'all. With your fresh asses. Y'all are novices. Kill that slave. Okay, Mr. Jumpy Guy. Aggroing everything. Breaking walls and shit. Go back to your depths, Hecaton Share. 
I feel bad because like, yeah, they're they're being evil and like crazy, but like they kind of got you know what's the word shat on <laughs> by history. And we're just coming in here mopping up like like we're the good guys. You know I am looking in the right direction, girl. Unless you want to kill everything, which I do have OCD, and that would be nice, but I don't have all day either, girl. <laughs> uh, grab the fire sand slaves, and let's progress. Then, wise, grab the fire sand slave. I'll push all the levers in this dungeon. I will explode the things. Alright, time for the first boss. Wee, wee, wee. Oh, this boss he is gonna be crazy. Wee, wee, wee. Excuse me? How dare you aggro me? Oh right, I have skate now. Yay. Kill it all! Oh, look at this treasure coffer over there. Kill, kill, kill! Sorry, I'm getting quiet, y'all. <laughs> very monotonous battle and my mind went wandering, bitch. Die! Die, die! I wish my AoEs were faster, because I'd like to do that, but... Oh no! Kotos! Oh, wait. Girl, if you don't pull this bitch off of me. Lord of lies. Oh. Alright. Yeah, yeah, bitch. Alright. Tiny key and treasure. I feel like that novice like tutorial thing I did gave me gear that just made me not need any of the gear here. Onward! Hello? Look at this hair. What the fuck is this hair doing? <laughs> I'm coming, y'all. There's treasure! Here's the treasure coffer I saw earlier. So we got oh full striker pants or shoes for that guy. Someone else pulled the lever this time. I can't be bothered. Thank you. This way. Kill it. Kill it. Let's drop more fire sand. Oh, what am I doing? Anyways, we gotta go both ways. To get some more fire sand. I'm sure. Okay. Now we're cooking with fire. Fire sand. Okay. Was that enough? How many do we need? Oh, okay, another one. Girl, where are you, girl? Girl, if you don't stop talking to randos, petting your cat, doing whatever, and bug out, bring your ass.
All right. I guess they pulled voucher. This hair is so ridiculous. All right, let's blow this joint. Come on, dude. Let's blow it up. Yes. Charge! Here's more fire scent. Uh-oh, I detect a boss. Whoa. Okay, good, she's here. Just tank the bosses and then you can AFK whenever you want. I swear this girl. This girl. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so we gotta blow it up. On the ooze. Yes. But of course she decided to not move. Hopefully this dungeon is easy enough to not have a tank. Oh my god, the chaos! No, 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 no. Oh. Why are we not? <laughs> Alright, let's blow this bitch up. Come on, blasting cap. Oh no, the quencher is gonna quench it. No, 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 no. Oh, I died. Not on live TV, bitch. Oh, she did kind of fail. There's one big dude left. So now we can kill the little ones, but like... Oops, why did I do that? We still need to get the big ones. Die, 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 die. Yes, okay. This is a very sloppy version of this battle. Oh, Lucid Dreaming. I forgot I got Lucid Dreaming. Gradually restores on MP. Cool. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Let's use it. Yeah. Oh, goodness. Jeez, y'all. That was insane. That was not a uh, smooth uh, ride. I'll do the powder this time. You can have some glory. Oh, look at this place. Please go. Please go. I'm gonna get aggroed by things, cause I'm gonna have to go, and then you're gonna fucking have to pull that shit off of me. Honestly, I, <laughs> it sounds crazy, but I'd rather have a newbie tank than an elitist tank that's like barking orders and yelling at you for messing up. To be honest, cause that's just toxic. Like, accidentally sucking is not toxic, it's like, well, they got, you gotta start somewhere, you know, like... You're not gonna just come out the womb being good at a specific game. Like, she's probably never done this dungeon as a tank before at all, ever. Can't blame her for it, you know? Like, it is what it is. And that's just how it's gonna be. I don't think that, like, I don't know. People are like, oh yeah, but you can just like look up guides and be prepared. It's like, not that fucking series, bitch. Like, it's serious if it's like end game raid type shit that takes forever, and then when you lose, you have to start over again, and the stakes are higher. But this is not that, you know. Like, it's not that serious. Calm down. You and your pet hippo surfs will die. <laughs> Y'all, I'm laughing because like. I kind of keep it entertaining, but there's only so many dumb jokes I can make up <laughs> for a dungeon where you're just slowly walking through. Ah, I did it again with the right mouse button, left mouse button. Yeah. Ugh. Whoa. Where'd 
Where are we? Follow me, slaves! Whoa, I love the way this looks. Reminds me of a deep home? In WoW? Deep home? Slaves, no more! Free! Free! Oh no! Is this bitch up to the challenge of taking this motherfucker? Oh, I ran forward as if. But girl, you better be your ass. I don't got time. Okay. Now go grab that boss like a good tank. There you go. There you go. And now we tank and spank this bitch because honestly, I mean, yeah, I don't know. It doesn't look like any one of us is like high level and like sinking down. I mean, that wolf guy, the healer might be, I'm not sure. But what's about to happen now is not cute. Stop making that wall, bitch! You broke it! It's about to get crazy, y'all. There's another guy. So I'm just like wondering, should we do it like you're supposed to and kill the ads before they break the walls? Yeah, sure, let's do it the old classic way. Alright. I don't know if she could handle trying to tank all of these ads that would happen. Damn it! Ugh. It's like as a black mage starts start seeing red and I don't want to take my eye off of the fucking guy I'm attacking! I take care of no damn ads. No damn ads! Oh, he used the ultimate limit to break. Did he miss? <laughs> Bitch, did you miss? Is that it? Man, I know it's no meteor storm, but surely I could have finished him off. We did it, bitch! <laughs> oh god, why that? Why does my lolf up have that? Because now I have to do that every time. I didn't do it the last time, but... I'm like, oh hell yeah, I'm about to do the thing he does every time. And then I see it, and I'm like, fuck. <laughs> uh... Yeah, the healer! Okay. I have to wait to get those potential commendations. Yeah, I'm winning all this shit I'm never gonna use. Alright, I'm not waiting any longer. Fuck y'all and all y'all fucking commendations, bitch. I wasn't gonna get one anyway. Alright, let's go back to fucking Painted Mesa, bitch. Go, 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 bitch. Look at these fucking clowns. What? Oh, look at that. Staff. I want it. Wow, look at you. You're kind of awesome looking. Like a dark elf wizard from EverQuest or some shit. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, he's cute. Why put fireworks on the other side of walls that we can't see from? I bet the show in Limps of Laments is fucking where it's at. On Forge. Momodi! Painted Mesa! Papa Sean, y'all don't even know what I've been through. What is this? Why is this happening? Why is this happening? Ah, the Conqueror of Copperbell returns. Thanks to you, our mining operations can resume, and Ulda will have the materials she needs to rebuild. The entire nation's in your debt, friend. I'll share the good titans with Papa Sean the next time I see him. As for you, you'll want to report to Mamodi. It'll do the woman well to see you alive and in one piece. Okay. Damn, I booked it. The fucking hero of the day. Shut your mouth, you thieving little swine. You stole from me. Don't even think to deny it. 
please, sir, I did, didn't steal nothing. I b bought this, paid for it with me on coin. What rot? You refugees are all the same. Couldn't afford maggoty mold meat, much less a, co a choice cut of dodo. Ugh. Oh, you're about to get it now, boy. I'm going to say it one more time. Give back what you stole, or I'll make you wish you never set foot in this town again. <laughs> By rights, I should turn you over to the brass blades, you know. Help keep the streets safe for law-abiding citizens. But I'm a reasonable man. If you agree to serve me in whatever capacity I require, the authorities needn't hear of your crime. <laughs> I'm about to bitch slap this hoe with some spells. Uh, I ain't done nothing wrong. Twelve is me witness. <laughs> oh, they're all the yeah. I'll help. But please, adventurer, help me. I beg of ye. I swear on me mother's grave, I didn't steal nothing. I bought this with the coin I'd saved. I only wanted to treat my children to a decent meal. Oh, not that pose. Oh, you big bitch. You thought wrong. And who the hells are you when you're at home? This dog's master? I've had enough of this mummer's farce. You lot teach them a lesson. Not with that hairstyle, you're not coming. All right, let's get you getting wrecked now. Let's get you getting wrecked. As soon as this loads up, you get wrecked. Oh, how dare you! I'll take care of this. The rest of you can watch. Ha ha! This will learn you. Mmm, not bad. <laughs> for an adventurer. You mean the best kind of fighter, bitch? Oh, fuck. Uh, I should have stopped at the seventh ale. I didn't use transpose. That's okay. Uh, why am I supposed not do anything now? Stop bloody golfing at me and give me a hand, will ye? Bugger, bugger, bugger! Okay, I'm killing you. I'm not switching targets until you're fucking dead. Not enough MP. You're high. Go to sleep, sweet summer child, whilst I work on this other thaumaturge. Oh, hello, boy. You thought you were as good as me in casting the ethereal magics of blackness and destruction. Ye weren't. And now you're all dead, bitches. Yeah. Yeah. I may be small, but I'm still a grown man. I ain't getting paid enough for this. Hey, where the hell do you think you're going? Thank you, kind adventurer. Thank you, Thrasoba. Oh, God. Not the migraines again. Not the crystal migraines. Not the crystal migraines. Oh, shit, y'all. This is running over a little bit. Fuck. I shouldn't have continued on. Ah. Who are you fuckers? I swear, there were more refugees than when I last looked. And you wouldn't be mistaken. But it's been five years since the calamity. Why are they only coming here now? It's simple, really. While a number of hamlets survived the immediate aftermath of the calamity, many were no longer able to support their communities. The residents found their lands that had either been rendered barren or cut off from trade routes and 
Problems like those aren't easily solved. Though they tried to make the best of it, it was only a matter of time before they were forced to abandon their homes and seek a new life in the city. <laughs> I see. But the calamity affected the whole realm, didn't it? Is the same thing happening in the other cities? If the talk is true, yes. Though perhaps our situation is more pronounced. Ulda has a reputation for being prosperous, so it's natural that the refugees would try their luck here first. My heart goes out to them, it truly does. But I would be lying if I said that I wasn't apprehensive. I hope that present doesn't presence doesn't foment lawlessness in the city. Well, if things do take a turn for the worse, we always have the immortal flames. I dare say the brass blades would welcome their help. The heroes who fought the Guardian Empire patrolling the streets for Riff Raff. Bitch, what? It may well come to that. Impoverished, desperate as they are, we may be sure that some of the refugees will turn to crime. You know what this place is like. If you've no coin, you've no hope. Uh, what will become of our city? Not all refugees are bad, mind you. Some are able to find employment and lead honest lives. Dodo tenderloins. Get your dodo tenderloins. Guaranteed cheapest in Thanalan. Thank you for your custom, madam. Please come again. Looking around, you'd think that Uldai was well on its way to recovery. But peer through the veil of prosperity and you'll see no end to the misery and suffering. Alright, that's it. Ah, crystal migraine. Er, sir, are you alright? It's gone. I'm back. Yes, what? Who are you? Oh, yeah. The slave that bought the tenderloin. What now? You mean to threaten a defenseless citizen? You, what? What? Saw her buy that meat, you say? That's absurd. I, as did I. Leave the poor woman alone, you damnable vulture. Who said that? Ugh. Grr. I will overlook this, but just this once. You overlook what, bitch? You fucking literally are starting all this shit. God bless you, Erectra. If you hadn't come along when you did, who knows what that monster might have done. I don't bear thinking about... It does... It don't bear thinking about... <laughs> Oh, shit, dude, I... This is... This is... Cussing class now. All's well that ends well. That's gotta be Thankrin, right? Yep, alright. We meet again! Pray do not mistake my intent, for it is always honorable. But, I have been watching you ever since you departed, Ulda. You played the part of Envoy to perfection. Confident as a man on a diplomatic mission should be, yet unfailingly courteous to your betters. To your betters. <laughs> and when your travels led you into the midst of danger, you faced it without so much as a flinch. You, my friend, are quite a marvel, and I confess to, be, confess to being somewhat in awe of you. Holy shit. Ah, but my lavish praise continues. Most of all, I was struck by your readiness to aid those in need. <laughs> Even when words were all the reward you could expect to receive. Such selflessness. It's a rare thing in this day and age. All of which leads me to conclude that you are indeed the one whom I have been looking for. An adventurer possessed of a very rare set of qualities. To be sure... Your rescue of that damsel in distress was more of a happy accident. But rescue her you did, 
And that is what matters in the end. I feel I should mention at this point that I also harbor a burning interest in you, a certain talent of yours. I speak of your crystal migraines. You have been experiencing visions, have you not? Well, it just so happens that I know a woman who shares your talent and can help you to understand it. She and I belong to the same organization, and we should both be delighted beyond words if you would agree to join our cause. Naturally, there are benefits to being part of, our, of such a collective. For one, we should be glad to assist you in realizing your potential as an adventurer. You need not give me your answer now. Think upon it, and if you feel moved to help us, as I pray you shall. Speak with Modi, the ever lovely and youthful mistress of the quicksand. Please don't flirt with Modi. It's weird. Like, we look like children, all right? I feel like Lalafels should only be with Lalafels. Tell her the scions of the seventh dawn have found their man, and she will tell you where to find us. Y'all, I completely forgot how to do the voice I was doing for him. It's probably the voice I do for everybody. <laughs> Hoity toity posh, motherfuckers. Alright. Y'all like that cute fucking guild invite I got out of fucking nowhere in the middle of that. Alright, Momodi, hi. Can we be done? Hmm. Scenes like that are becoming ever more common, I'm afraid. Don't worry, though. If you work hard, you'll probably be alright. Saying that, if you ever find yourself in a spot of bother, come and see me. Just don't go pestering me every time you graze your knee, eh? Of course, I do enjoy hearing a tale of a gentleman's woes with the women folk from time to time. This bitch is saying the same thing to him that she said to, him, to me. I feel cheated upon. Bitch, I heard what you were saying. Ah, Joey. Sorry to keep you waiting. I was just providing guidance to a fresh off the carriage adventurer. But gods, it's good to see you safe and well. To look at you, no one would ever guess you've been part hard at work. Hard at it with giants in the dark. I never doubted for a moment that you'd succeed, of course, and neither did Papa Sean. Which ain't to say he won't be overjoyed. Oh, before I forget, there's a lass here who wants a word with you. Didn't actually know your name, but hearing her description, I knew who she meant right away. Eesh. But thank you for sparing the time. I realize you don't know me, but I've been longing to speak with you for a while now. What? My name is Etta. I'm an adventurer like you, though I'm not very good at being one, if truth be told. Anyway, I was adventuring with my friends in Gridania when... When... I'm sorry. We were in Gridania when the leader of our party was killed. His name was Avir, and he and I were to be wed in the spring. You may not remember him, but to say that he remembered you would be an understatement. He would sing your praises from dawn to dusk. He saw you for what you are, you see, an adventurer's adventurer, and swore that he would be like you one day. I believe that he would have succeeded had a fiend not robbed him of the chance. Since that day, I have thought long and hard about giving up adventure. But when I think of the man you are, of all that you've achieved, I find that I am inspired, just as Avir once was. And so, I've decided to start again as an adventurer. I will go back to the village of my birth and begin my training anew. But I wanted to meet you first, to ask you your name. It's Joey Quest! Joey Quest? I shan't forget. <laughs> bitch, you shouldn't forget. Thank you, Joey Quest. I pray that we will meet again. Fare you well. <laughs> Adventuring can be a cruel, bleeding business. Time was I didn't know why anyone would bother. 
When they first asked me to take charge of the guild here, I didn't want aught to do with you lot. That wouldn't be a right pain in the arse looking after you all. Thought it would. But against my better judgment, I decided to accept the post, and I'm fool glad I did. I feel privileged to be a part of your lives. And that goes double for yours, Joey. Okay, you're loud. Eh? What did you say? You want to know about the signs of the seventh dawn? They're beginning to move in earnest then. Listen, Joey. The Scions ain't no ordinary folk. And the work they do ain't no ordinary work. I know full well how capable you are, but even you would think twice about attempting some of the stuff they do. Knowing that, if you're still certain you want to get involved, I'll tell you what I can. Okay. In the next episode, y'all. And that's it for this episode, y'all. So we did the Black Mage quest. Holy shit. The level 20 Black Mage quest and the final dungeon of the three dungeons in the three starting nations. And we're getting ready to start the whole Signs of the Seventh Dawn storyline, which is about to get juicy, y'all. I'm so excited. So in the next episode, we will continue on, obviously, where we left off. We will do the MSQ up to 25, do the 25 Black Mage quest, and play something else. Unless y'all, unless this gets some kind of crazy views and everybody fucking is like liking this shit and telling me not to stop. Which obviously isn't gonna happen right now because <laughs> even though y'all right now are seeing this while it's gotten views, I'm making this shit right now when there are none. <laughs> so anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Please like the video if you liked it. Comment and let me know what this holiday is first of all. And... Hit the notification bell to get updates on my channel and when I post them. And subscribe, obviously. <laughs> and yeah. Anyway, thank y'all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Stay questing, y'all. Bye.